Hey there, today I want to dive into the phrase that stirs up quite a bit of debate among native speakers. On the one hand, you have those who use this phrase enthusiastically, as can be seen from a plethora of videos that could be found on Youglish. That being said. That being said. So, that being said. That being said. But, that being said. That being said. On the flip side, however, there are those who seem to be downright annoyed by it. Just take a peek at some Reddit threads. So, this begs the question, should we, as non-native speakers, steer clear of the phrase to avoid ruffling some feathers? Not so fast. I believe this phrase has some potential. Just think about it. In our English classes, we're often encouraged to dive deeper into the topics that are not so black or white. And this is when this phrase can come in handy. Take social media, for instance. Social media has given us access to a wealth of information. That being said, it also left us feeling more overwhelmed than ever. Some variations to this phrase include, but that being said, with that being said, that said, having said that. Can we just use but or however instead? Absolutely. But these phrases give us a unique advantage. They give us a moment to gather our thoughts and seamlessly transition to our next point. Let me know how you personally feel about using this phrase I hope you find it useful and I'll see you in the next one.